Um, there are a few things in life that give me as much joy as walking into an art supply store and just getting everything that I see. That is what happened last week. I went to an art supply store and, well, I went to several art supply stores and got several things. Um, the main reason I went was to replace the sketchbook that I finished recently and I bought a couple and the paper was terrible so I just had to go back and buy some more stuff a couple of times <laughs> so um, let's begin and I'll show you what I bought also there's a very quick speed paint at the end alright so the first thing I'm going to show you is my inks I work with inks or ecoline and watercolor um, but I've been working a lot without watercolor lately and I thought it was time to invest in a higher grade ink so I got a Winsor & Newton one which compared to my regular ink is exactly the same <laughs> so I learned my lesson I'm just going to keep getting my cheap ink and be happy I got two cobalt blues a burgundy a rose lime green and tan you don't really need to get all the colors that they offer in inks. If you have like the top three, you know, the, the pink, the cyan, and the yellow, you really don't need anything else. But it is always fun to try different colors because it would be very hard to get the, that really bright effect from just mixing things. These are the swatches of the colors I got. The lime green and the rose turned out to be really neon colors. Here we have natural latex, which finding a jar that says masking fluid in my art supply store is impossible. So I had to, you know, trial and error all the jars that I could find to see which one was masking fluid. And natural latex is the winner, so if you can't find a masking fluid per se in your store, maybe try looking for natural latex and see how it works with your paper. This is just the usual, a couple of really inexpensive um, plastic palettes and a couple of brushes that I'm trying out. The short stubbly one doesn't really, yeah, I don't know, it just doesn't hold a lot of ink or water so it just runs out immediately. Now I have a problem with paper. <laughs> I've been trying to find hot press watercolor paper and I, it has been impossible to find. So I thought I would try other kinds to see if there are any other textures in cold press that I'm okay with. Uh, these are two new sketchbooks I got. They are both non-watercolor sketchbooks. They're from a smooth paper called Opalina. They work well with um, colored pencils and graphite and um, liners, but they don't really work for anything that's really too wet. So I've been using that with a India ink and a dip pen. It's just a little sneak peek of what I have so far. And I bought a small one and a very large one. Uh, I love these sketchbooks because they lay flat when you open them and the reason why I usually don't get perfectly bound sketchbooks but spiral bound is because you usually use a lot of space if they don't lay flat and it's also really uncomfortable. But since these do open all the way, scanning them is not a problem and they're really comfortable to use. They are really big, I mean they have a lot of pages. I'll be using the larger one to work on my story and my characters and it has been really fun and really really comfortable to use. I'll leave a link to where you can get these down below. This is a watercolor sketchbook and it was the first one that I got that I was really disappointed in because it really can't take um, that much water which is insane. 
um, but the paper is kind of plasticky. I don't really know how to explain it. I work with a lot of water, but I have noticed that if I'm using only a wash or two, um, the final product is really smooth, so I, I'm using it for that mostly. And this is just a another watercolor paper block, but it is cold press and I really don't like the texture. It just seems like the texture is too rough and it shows through too much. Here I'm going to do a quick drawing of a bird. Um, that's all the things that I bought. I hope that you enjoyed hearing me blab about um, buying art supplies, which is one of my favorite things to do. You can follow me on Instagram for almost daily updates or doodly things, or you can just subscribe here to not miss anything that I make. Anyway, I'll leave you guys to it. Um, thank you for watching.